Hello, crafty friends. I'm Lean from Studio Gato, and I'm so glad you're joining me again today. Today's card is a super simple one, but I loved making it. It was really easy to do, and I really like the result as well. For this card, I am using a stem from Crafty Meraki. This is the Two to Tropics stem set, and I'm just using the largest image from that. And that will nicely fill up my card front, so I don't need much more. I'm stamping it with my Misty, but I still messed up somehow. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Ink onto Kenson Monval 200 GSM watercolor cardstock. And again, I didn't stamp it correctly the first time, so I'm just turning over my piece of cardstock and stamping it again. I am prepping my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool so I can clear emboss this later. Now I did like the impression that I got, so I am just adding my embossing powder. I am using the WOW Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder, and that just gives a glossy finish to my line art. And I really like that look, but it's also really easy when you have that embossed line when you're doing watercolor. There's less risk of colors bleeding together from one section to another, even if you don't have the patience to let them dry completely. Now I'm still being careful, even though I have an embossed outline, to do all my lightest colors first before I do the black. Black has a tendency to just take over all the colors if you make a tiny mistake, so I always do it at the very end so I don't have to worry too much about it. I'm using some really bright colors for their bills, and I love this look. I just look up some images from Toucans and just take inspiration where I can get it, but I don't follow it exactly. I don't try to make this a realistic looking Toucan. It's obviously not. It's a cartoon image, so I just uh, take the inspiration that I like, and I pick and choose some colors from different images, and then I go from there. Now I love watercolor, I really do. It's super easy to blend colors together. You can get some really nice effects from it. But one drawback in watercolor is the color intensity. You can have great watercolors, you can have super professional watercolor palettes, and still your colors won't be as intense as alcohol markers, for example. And you can really see that with this black. Now I'm not using straight up black because if I had, then I wouldn't have as much of an issue building up the color. I am using some black mixed with blue to get a nice bluish tint to them. I really like that for my birds because straight up black is usually a little bit dead looking. It doesn't really look uh, fun. So I always mix in different colors with my blacks. And I do build up the layers in my coloring to make sure the color is intense enough. Now once that's dry, I can work on my background. I die cut a heart because I'm making a heart-shaped card. So this is just going to be my card front. And I am pressing various ink cubes on there. I am not using a ton of pressure because these ink cubes by Pinkfresh Studio are felt, so they have a really nice texture to them. But if you press too hard, you won't really see that texture. You will have a lot of color and not a lot of texture, and I really like the texture in this technique. So I'm using a lot of greens, I will list them all below, and I'm just making a nice background for my toucans to sit on. Now for this shaped card, I die cut three hearts. One you saw me make the background on, and the two others I am going to make the card out of. Now this is going to be the back of the card. This is going to be the inside back piece. And I just score that at the top, or near the top, and I fold that to reinforce the score line, and I add glue to every part above the score line. And this is where I will adhere it to the front of my card. You can do this with any shaped die cut. If you just die cut two of them and you score one of them, you will create a hinge so you can uh, open the card up and you'll have a nice shaped card. It's obviously a little smaller on the inside, but you can still write a fun message in there. Now I'm just adhering my background on top of that. This is just the same size heart. You could use a smaller size 
to get a nice matting layer, but I really wanted the full card front to be filled up. And I'm using some Barely Art Precision Craft glue to glue that on. Now I really like that abstract look of the background. I can't wait to create more of these. But I did want to ground my card a little bit more. And adding a frame to a card is super simple if you have just a fine liner. I am using a gold Posca paint pen today. You could use a gel pen, but these just always write. I really love these pens. I only have the gold one, but I'm looking to add a white one at least to replace my gel pen, basically. And they have great coverage as well. And I really like adding frames uh, to my cards with these. It's super easy, super quick, and it makes a world of difference. I just prop the two cans up on some foam tape, and then I'm making a envelope, a matching envelope, out of some patterned paper. Now I did recently start decorating the inside of my envelopes as well, and I just use a simple stamped image for that. It's a nice surprise on the inside, it doesn't have to match the card perfectly, but I really like that little touch. Then I just adhere the envelope shut with the Barely Art Precision Craft glue, and that's it, a super simple shaped card with a lovely pair of toucans and that bright green. I just love green. It's so fresh and fun. I love it. I hope you like it too. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. Have you ever made a shaped card like this or what's your favorite shape of card to make if it's not an A2 size one? If you want to see more of my videos, you can subscribe to my channel, obviously, and you can hit that bell button down below as well to get notifications every time I post a new video. I also encourage you to check out my actual channel page. Just click on my username down below the video and that will take you to my channel. You'll find a lot of playlists there. I have recently reorganized my channel so it's a little bit more easy to find stuff and I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.